What's up everybody? Here's five weird things that you'll be doing at boot camp. So to kick it off, we've got kids screaming I sir in their sleep. So you'll be at boot camp and you'll be sleeping and in the first week you'll hear everybody just like dreaming of drill instructors, nightmares really, and they'll be completely asleep and they'll be like, I sir ah, I sir and they'll do that like crazy for like the first week or two, that's what's gonna happen. And then later on in boot camp, you'll just hear the faint echoes of little I sirs, I sir, I sir, I I sir, going all the way down the hallway. In fact, I have a funny story about that. My buddy Davis, right? I had to wake him up for Firewatch once, and Davis was going, I sir, in his sleep. Well, I brought another friend over, and I said, dude, watch this. And I go, knock on the hatch, Davis. Knock on the hatch, Davis. And he starts going, I sir. Hi, sir. You know, knocking on the door as if uh, the drill instructor is telling him to do it. So I thought that was pretty funny. Next up, we have showering with 90 other dudes. Now, what happens when you go to boot camp is you'll be put in a room with like 15 shower heads, completely wide open, no stalls, and you're completely naked and you wagon wheel around the shower. And basically, all you're doing is getting clean, just, you know, going in a circle and all the shower heads are spraying on you. At first, you're kind of, like, weirded out, but that goes away. Like, you know those old guys in the gym that just, like, will be in the locker room completely naked with everything hanging out? I'm that old guy now because, like, I, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me at all. Uh, so showering with 90 other dudes can get very, very weird. Number three kind of ties in with showering, but it's actually pooping. Uh, so when you go to poop at boot camp, uh, there's no stalls, right? There's no doors, and you're just pooping directly across from other people. Like, you make eye contact. You, so, you stare into their soul sockets, dude. And most of the time, you'll do it when you go to shower. So you'll be completely naked, showering with 90 other dudes, and then go straight over to, uh, to take a poop, and everybody is just like whatever man you gotta do what you gotta do uh and with that now i have the ability the superpower to poop anywhere uh, i used to only like to poop in my house now i'll go poop in whatever porta john or nasty mcdonald's bathroom you got bring it on i'll do it moving on to number four attacking the chow hall now when you go to when you go to eat lunch or dinner or whatever at boot camp you have to attack the chow hall every time and they make you scream for your food. Like, it's like a ditty. Like, you have to be like, attack the chow hall, I sir. And you're like, not loud enough. So then they make you crunch. And, you're, and you, you get really close to the other person. Everybody is just pushing into the chow hall. And at this point, y'all are so sweaty and muddy and disgusting smelling. And you can smell every single follicle and butthole hair on the next guy in front of you or girl. But you don't even care. You don't even care because you're about to get food. Uh, so... You know, attacking the chow hall uh, is pretty weird, uh, all for the satisfaction of having a few tasty meals. And by the way, the, the food of the chow hall isn't bad, but you won't get to enjoy it because you'll get about 90 seconds to eat it all. Uh, but again, uh, you'll like your chow when you're at boot camp. After a hard day of uh, PT and running around and getting sweaty, you don't care that the guy in front of you smells like crap. You just want that food. And then finally, moving on to the last point, recruit tape. Now, I will even say this at work to this day. I'll be like, yeah, man, just recruit tape that. And they'll be like, what are you talking about? Well, when you need to laminate something and you don't have, like, a lamination machine, obviously, they're not going to sit there and laminate 90 papers or whatever. Uh, they make you recruit tape papers. Uh, so basically you take tape and you just tape it on one side all the way down and then flip it over and tape it all the way down the other side. And essentially... You're just laminating. It's like a getaway of laminating uh, your, your different papers. I do it to this day. I do it with my fishing license. It's in my kayak right now. And, uh, yeah, you just tape it up, and it's just as good as anything else. Oh, I died. Uh, so to, to run it back from the top, you got kids screaming ice in their sleep. You got showering with 90 other dudes, pooping with 90 other dudes, no stalls. Uh, gets very personal. Attacking the chow hall and recruit tape uh, so in the comments below if you've been to boot camp tell me about your weird boot camp stories if you're excited for boot camp and about ready to go what are you excited for what weird stuff are you not excited for uh, and if i missed anything which i know i have i'll make a part two uh, if you guys want to catch any of these live streams mondays and thursdays around nine o'clock p.m eastern time 
And, uh, yeah, come on out, chat with me. We'll have a good time, all right? Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at Clayton Philpo, uh, and I will see you guys later.